Very good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening, good evening sir. sir. Good evening. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Look, clear is audible. Clear. You are clear, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. So, just to tell to your friends, uh, please join the class. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so I think uh, the all day is over in your offline classes, is right? Yes, sir. Okay. So. Now onwards, we discuss the uh, the group of the bravophytes and uh, pteridophytes. We discuss that. Okay. In that uh, bravophytes, we can see the what are the features of the bravophytes and uh, classification of the bravophytes, uh, and what are the uses of the bravophytes. Uh, and as well as we discuss some type studies of the bryophytes. Means uh, based on the classification, here we discuss the some bryophyte type studies are there. Means uh, a specific species we discuss in that class. Okay. Then afterwards, simultaneously, we discuss the pteridophyte also. Now we discuss the can I start uh, the class or we wait some time? Hello? So shall we wait for two more minutes because uh, the uh, time uh, is around six o'clock. Yes, yes, if yes, you yes, won't yes, mind. Sir. Okay, yes, yes. okay. Yes, sir. thank you so much. Sir. Okay, very good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Okay, thank you. Good evening, sir. 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 
So in this class, so in this class, we discuss the bryophytes. Okay. So what are the main features of the bryophytes and the classification? That is the eleventh unit. You see that one and write some notes on your books. Okay. Take your pen and notebook. Write some points uh, which are I am telling to in this bryophytes topic. Okay. Clear all of you. So audible. Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Audible. Yes, sir. Yes, very Thank clear you. as well. Yes, sir. So, in this class, we discuss the classification also, and uh, importance of uh, bryophytes also. We discuss that. First of all, what is bryophytes? Is anybody? Means bryophytes means. Already in the UG level, you studied already. Is anybody respond? What is bryophytes? Is anybody? It's a, like a moss-like plant which grows yes. in the moist places, which needs yes. water as well as land. Oh, it's very good. Nice, good answer. That one. Correct only that one. So, the bryophytes word is coined by the brown. Bryophytes is word which is kind by the brown. Brown is a biologist uh, and as well as is the well known about the bryophytes. Okay, so study about the bryophytes uh, uh, that is the is well known in brown. So first of all, bryophytes means. What is algae here? What are the algae and fungi bryophytes? What is the difference algae, fungi, and bryophytes? This is anybody. General characters of the bryophytes we discuss here. They are mass like structures are there. Very good. But again, and some features are there. Is anybody? They are advanced than that of algae and fungi, sir. And which advanced, which characters they are advanced based on the and based on the what characters? How you tell advanced means? Thallus. Yeah, very good. What is the thallus structure? Uh, they have a uh, root like, shoot like. Yes, yes. yes. Not leaf -like short, structure. stem not like short. and leaf like. Okay, some advanced bryophytes they have some stem modifications also there, but stem like structures are there, but not complete. We call as a stem. Okay, that some modifications are there. So, can we tell like uh, the uh, plant body division? Okay. The division of the plant body might be seen in uh, bryophyte when compared to the algae and fungi. Yeah, very good. Yes, that one is correct. And uh, another, uh, that fungi is not have the pigments. You know that one. Yes, mainly the differentiation of the algae, fungi, then compared to bryophytes here, the thallus is well advanced in characters are there. Means roots formation is there, rhizoids formation has appeared. And uh, the thallus will be made up of the Multicellular. Okay. Heteromorphic condition is present. Heteromorphic means? Standing erect. Okay, good. Erect and is creeping. Prostate and scraping manner is present. But we cannot see in these uh, some algal members and some fungi also. Erect, creeping and uh, uh, means prote prostate manner and erect manner is present in thallus. And simultaneously, and the lower surface, adoxial and aboxial surface are present. 
dorsal side means dorsal side and ventral side in that uh, algae fungi we cannot see the dorsal and ventral clear so in bryophytes the thallus is the diversification in dorsal side and ventral side depending on the pigments pigments present uh, in the, uh, the ventral side in the dorsal side number of rhizoids are there what is the function of rhizoids here so what is the function of rhizoids here to attach the substratum substrate means these bryophytes we call as the amphibians why we call the amphibians one part of the life cycle needs water especially the uh, sexual terrestrial terrestrial and aquatic life they need one part of the life cycle is uh, need for the water is not that one is the second person is correct they need water they for reproduction they can survive both in uh, so, uh, land and water sir they can survive yeah. both in they need water for reproduction sir ah that water uh, not uh, water here there are the chemical content is in uh, uh, that is essential in the reproduction system not water in this bryophytes some chemical products are sucrose content is there on the archegonia to attract the anthrocyte okay chemical uh, compounds are need for the reproduction system not water this bryophytes so why we call the amphibians of the plants like bryophytes here they can exist in water means as well as terrestrial means they are the amphibians means why call there are exist in where the mud areas wet areas shaded areas there also exist their life so that's why we call as the amphibians of the plant means the algae total depending on the water only from water to gradually the evolution takes uh, from bryophyte onwards then enter into the terrestrial that's why we call as the amphibians the algae total depending on the water only you know that one is correct yes sir yes sir yes so from that oh, evolution from that evolution of the plant uh, uh, life so here what happen here from water to terrestrial that is the advanced character you know that one the sporophytes also there we can see the all plants are sporophytic plants only nowadays we see the uh, our landed plants you know that one land plants also there neem tamarind guava all our plants are there that all plants are sporophytic plants only but this bryophyte is the gametophytic plant that algal members also gametophytic plant why here gametophytic is dominantly present in their life cycle dominantly stage it's clear but nowadays all the land plants are the sporophytic phase is the dominantly phase in their life cycle these are the some advanced character than compared to uh, that algae to bryophytes so uh, that mean the half of the life cycle of these bryophytes are under the water and the half of the life cycle will be on the land so it might be correct or lena sir no, like if not, you tell not, like not, a amphibian no 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 not that one half of the life cycle for need in water half of the life cycle in terrestrial is not that one okay amphibians means there are uh, exist in water so they okay they are able they to survive. live in water ah, as they well can as survive the they can survive okay they can able to are survive in the water as well as terrestrial but terrestrial. algae member but algae they members can't. they cannot but algae members cannot survive in the terrestrial okay sir okay so that's why they are but called but excuse me sir but sir, uh, what as as i know i mean like i as i know mm. the 
bryophytes require water for the sperm to or during the reproduction they need water for the sperm okay. to move to yes, the yes, yes. archegonia but that but is what they swim. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. they swim in the water but they attract the chemical content yes sir chem- yes correct only but the chemical content is secreted by the archegonia so correct chemical- sir yes that they can swim only water so that yeah. is the reason so why they require yes, water sir Yes, yes. So this okay, is the correct. reason why they require okay. water. So the amphibian, see. the term itself, as I know, uh, mm. is that water is only used where they need for sexual reproduction or one part of their life cycle. No, no, is not, in water. not, that, not that necessary. Is, so that, yes, yes, that is not correct. In half of the part need for water and remaining half of the life cycle for uh, terrestrial is not correct. They Actually, are, like um, snake, uh, frog. Maybe a part of it. Just like frog, in case of frog, yeah, yeah, you know that yeah, one part yes, of the life survive. cycle is in water. Yes, yes, the yes. other but one they... sits on, line, on land. Here, here, they, the anthrozoites only swim in the water only. Yes, sir. Okay. For example, here, the mosses plants are there. Yes, sir. Polytrichum. Yes, sir. Yes, the polytrichum, polytrichum and... Uh, Fini area they are there, but they cannot live in the water. There are completely terrestrial plants. How the anthrozoites swim in the water? No, only the chemical content is there. Means sucrose content, sucrose sweet product. There are secreted by the archegonia. Okay, so attract that uh, depending on the sucrose chemical substances. the anthrozoites so easily to reach the archegonia fuse the egg and form the zygote that is the diploid stage then developed as a sporophyte okay but not uh, need all the plants are need uh, not need the water for the half of the life cycle okay, okay only sir. for the water some species are they are they want water for the anthrozoites to swim to reach the archegonia okay thank you so yes. much sir, for clarifying uh, but uh, but that uh, means here there are able to in water as well as water means mud areas shaded areas wet areas near to the uh, pond like that near to, means uh, adjacent adjacent areas of the pond or lake is okay right small pond is yes. there very very near to near to the or adjacent areas of the pond so they have the some wet condition is present not completely water not completely terrestrial not a dry land not dry land there are the wet areas are there moist condition is present there are, they can survive that is need for the bryophytes that that uh, habit is need for the uh, bryophytes like mangroves sir no not mangroves ah uh, like that mangroves only but uh, mangroves are uh, for the or uh, okay that correct only but uh, but so mangroves, mangroves are not uh, bryophytes bri- not bryophytes yes yes not bryophytes there are like but that uh, like that uh, habit is uh, required for the development of the bryophytes not mangroves okay means uh, mangroves is also totally some areas total uh, then directly in water areas only for example bay of bengal we can see the bay of bengal the mangroves then goes to the inside the water also okay but bryophytes means amphibians of uh, plants nothing but there are uh, capable survive in the water as well as terrestrial means uh, terrestrial means where the wet areas are there moisture areas are there that one we call as the amphibians okay so and another character is the heteromorphic condition is there what are the heteromorphic condition means the thallus is the differentiation into prostrate manner and erect manner is there prostrate manner means there are the creeping like structures 
there are the on the surface of the soil there are the uh, horizontally they can grow more and some advanced bryophytes uh, from that uh, prostate uh, thallus again to produce and some vertical like structures vertical means uh, some projections erect manner that one we call as a prostate means erect system prostate system and erect system two systems are present uh, that we call as a heteromorphic uh, we call as for example lycopodium and uh, another one is the the gametophytic plant body the sporophyte totally we call as a gametophytic plant body okay and uh, so here the sporophyte only very short period in their life cycle okay so that is the uh, uh, the haploid is the morphologically a distinct uh, character are there uh, that is uh, Hello. Okay. So that is the sorry. So. the haploid condition is dominantly present means gametophyte is dominantly present in their life cycle so these uh, uh, gametophyte uh, they are the independently uh, living in the plant gametophytic uh, phase is dominantly present and uh, which is the independent uh, free living stage but the sporophyte is the attached on the gametophyte means there are the depending on the gametophyte not free the living individual is not independently is not present in this sporophyte okay sporophyte 
is the depending to the gamete of fire for their exist or produce the spores. Okay, clear? So, could you explain it once again, please? So, the gametophyte is the individual plant, independent plant, gametophyte. But the sporophyte is the depending on the gametophyte for their uh, food material or shelter and whatever they are. For the development of the sporophyte, there are the required uh, or depending on the gametophyte only. They are not individual. They are all completely attached to the gametophyte. We can so see saprophytes it. are the parasites, no. parasitic too. This like, huh? like that only. So, but, uh, there that are the directly. Hmm. Both are existing in the same plant. Yeah, yeah. There are existing on the same plant only. Okay. Not as seen in algae, like one, one for one stage is seen separately. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There are Thank the, you, depending on, they are depend on the, uh, yeah. Okay, so means uh, the not individual plant or have the uh, not uh, roots like the shakta are there that are directly attached to on the body only. Is it? And, uh, okay. uh, this one. Uh, the inter the there are the individual yes. so your voice is glitching depending on the okay. so the sporophyte is glitching so your voice is glitching sir Uh, another one here in the bryophytes we can see the xylem and phloem. So here, uh, sorry. So in the xylem and phloem means vascular uh, tissue is absent in the uh, bryophytes. So what is the main character of the bryophytes here? Embryo is formed. First of all, the embryo is formed on the bryophytes only. Okay. <coughs> See here. So these are the some archegonia. Anthridium is there, and uh, this one is the archegonia. See here, this one. A flask like structure is present, long neck canal and uh, a swollen base is there. That one we call as archegonia. So, in this uh, archegonia, uh, the embryo is occurred. This one is the, is the first stage in the bryophytes only. So, that's why we call as the embryogenic plants. The bryophytes. We call it as a embryogenic plants. Is it clear? Is it audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so embryogenic plant means uh, that's why we call it as a embryo is first of all appeared in the bryophytes only. This is the important point that one. Okay, Nandi. So embryo is uh, first of all appeared in the bryophytes. So algae and fungi, we cannot see the embryo. Only the zygote formation is also there. The zygote again uh, goes to the meiotic division to produce the, the spores. But here, 
the embryo the embryo the condition is the huh? mm. so the embryo the embryo is occur in the bryophytes only okay uh, the gametophyte of the bryophyte is always the uh, independent plant we know that one uh, there are the nutritionally uh, self sufficient means because they have the uh, pigments all present pigments are present so that's why there are the do the photosynthesis and the water is absorbed from the rhizoids only so that's why which is the uh, independent plant and first of all the the uh, embryo is occurred and uh, the gametophyte is differentiated into stem leaves and uh, rhizoids also there okay but roots also there but not well developed roots we call as a rhizoids means small in length and unicellular rhizoids but roots are multicellular and large in size length means very large okay but here the rhizoids are very small in size and unicellular there is no small in size uh, rhizoids also there stem and leaves uh, uh, and rhizoids also present means stem means very large stem or uh, hard stem is anybody stem like uh, our sporophytic plant like that stem no, no sir. sir very small no. soft stem no very tiny good. very tiny very delicate very delicate stem is present here only the stem is total made up of the parenchyma only small amount of the colenchyma okay small amount of the colenchyma is present very delicious mean delicate uh, stem is there okay all the maximum parenchyma is present okay then leaves also very simple leaves leaves very simple leaves sessile what is the simple leaf simple means is anybody basic single single without any uh, and branches and like a uh, veins without stock without without stock without stock without, without stock, without, without, stock. Petiole. Sessile. without petiole yes ah uh, without petiole that is directly to attach to the stem that one is called as a sessile uh, leaf But okay sessile leaves are there means there is no petiole long petiole is not there the lamina directly the lamina is attached to the stem simple leaf we call as a simple leaf means a single leaf there is no bracteole leaflets are not there okay nandi leaflets are not there and bracteole parallel are... venation sir yeah sometimes uh, Uh, parallel veins not there okay only the veins are very small uh, uh, only midrib is present sir like a single lamina and is not uh, divided into a leaflets okay means uh, the reticulation means only the centrally midrib is or present there is no lateral veins not well developed only centrally a small midrib we can uh, so no venation is seen so venation only but single single only the midrib midrib only present okay sir. single midrib only present the remaining uh, uh, some plants we can see the lateral venations also there but here we cannot see the lateral venation we see i show here i shown to uh, these bryophytes uh, that is the anthoceras this you can see here only the central midrib is present clear are you clear here yes sir ah uh, so means here the central midrib that line like structure is there you see that line like structure that is the total thallus 
and uh, uh, some um, masses like shakshas pinaria and uh, polytrichum is also there that is the only the central uh, midrib is present means lateral elimination is not there simple characters are there okay that is the one feature and uh, here first of all we see the reproductive organs in the bryophytes <coughs> the organs development is appeared in the bryophytes only but algae they are not a specific organs are not there except some species cara and uh, polysyphonia some species only they have the reproductive organs but here the organs are appeared from the bryophyte onwards only so the here the female one we call as a female reproductive organ we call as archegonia and uh, male organ we call as antheridium okay so means uh, the antheridium is the uh, club shaped means uh, there are the all the antheridies are together to form a cone like structure just we know that one polytrichum so polytrichum here in the apical apical see here all are in the previous picture uh, see the the apical uh, uh, that one yeah. this one see here this one is a long slender like structures are there this is the okay so this one and the apical region here they have the reproductive organs are there okay so here the antheridia and archegonia are there there are the multicellular organs multicellular means there are made up of the and the more than uh, number of cells are there okay means uh, that archegonia they have the a long neck canal cells and swollen based venter canal cells are there long neck canal cells around to Six to eight number of venter canal cells are there, and uh, there are surrounding with the a single layer, protecting layer also there. Means they are all look like a jacket-like structures. A flower bunch-like structures are appeared in the some bryophytes. Means example masses. These are all are the sterile structure. Okay, and. Uh, Um, the o oh, oh, means uh, antheridium. There have the antheridium is the uh, club-like structure. Means uh, cone-like structure is there. Our club-like structures are there. They have small stalk, and antheridial chamber is also present. Inside the antheridial chamber, number of anthrocytes are there. Okay, they are produced the anthrocytes. Uh, after the development of the anthrocytes and then uh, liberated from the antheridium and uh, reach to the oogonium to form a zygote to fuse and to form the zygote so these uh, bryophytes uh, generally we call as a uh, natural group who means uh, land plants migrated to land plants from the water to Uh, land plants, land land plants. Already we discussed that one. Okay. And another one. So here, the thallus structure is foliage-like structures. See, see here, foliage-like structures means uh, uh, the liverworts, liverworts, hornworts are there. The foliage, see here, this one. See here, foliage means folding like structures are there. Foliage like structures uh, are present. Okay. 
and uh, some masses there are developed a filament like structure from the gametophyte that one we call as the protonema protonema means after the uh, zygote means uh, zygote then undergoes to the meiotic division to produce the four haploid plant okay that uh, the uh, spores so they produce and germinate a, a filament like like structure small filament like structures are developed that one we call as a protonema mean mean specific masses only we can see that one okay these uh, protomental stage is also present in some hepa hepatic capsids uh, uh, and mosses also these uh, protonema is the first stage of the gametophyte means the spore is germinate a filament like structure uh, that protonema again to develop as a complete uh, gametophytic plant body after some days means undergoes to the number of division just like uh, produce the root stem and leaves also protonema is the initial stage of the gametophyte clear protonema protonema only observed in the gametophyte of the bryophytes in the algae fungi we cannot see the protonema hello clear is hard yes sir yes ah, thank you so here the protonema is observed what are the characters are there bryophytes specific character first land plants nothing but amphibians first land plants and first embryo is appeared and protonema is appeared clear huh? and another one the reproductive organs uh, developed specific reproductive organs also developed and another one dorsi ventral means heterotritus dorsi dorsi ventral modification is also present Okay, Nadi. These are the some specific characters of the bryophyte, and uh, the gametophyte plant body is greenish color with the chlorophylls, and they have the possess the rhizoids, and some scale leaves also present on the dorsal side of the thallus. so rhizoids is to observe and uh, mineral sign nutrition what are the scale leaves scale leaves is the brown color okay clear so these scale leaves are have the brown color means they are not have the pigment only these scale leaves are to attach to the scales these scales are to attach to the thallus into the substratum okay these scales are not involved in the absorption of the water and uh, minerals clear the thallus dorsal side they have they possess the rhizoids and as well as scales also there rhizoids to attach to the substratum as well as to absorb the water and minerals and nutrition food scales only to attach to fix the thallus in the substratum okay so here uh, and uh, the foliage form of the uh, we discussed that one foliage thallus is present uh, and uh, the reproductive organs also appeared so here uh, another term here uh, so the leaves are attached on the uh, thallus means uh, stem as orally or uh, Uh, spirally. Okay, 
temporally or spirally they are attached to the talus means stem so here the gametophyte already we discussed that one the gametophyte is the autophytic autotrophic condition is there which is the independent uh, stage and the organs we call as the antheridia and archegonia antheridia is the male one archegonia is the female one both are the multicellular structure is there okay so embryo is developed in the venter that is the archegonium and these archegonium to develop as a sporophyte these archegonia to develop as a sporophyte so these sporophyte completely depending on the gametophyte plant body clear general characters okay sir okay nandi this is the some general characters of the bryophytes what are there here embryonic first of all embryonic plants these the are the first land plants Amphibian. and we can, we can see the protonium over here and these are the first uh, embryo yeah. forming plants yes embryonic plants yes and some some characters only few one two three and some more characters anybody These first are the amphibian, amphibians among all the plants. Yeah, they are the good. first amphibian, first land. And plant. their uh, plant body is the gametophyte, sir. Yeah. Oh, yes. Correct only. Yes. And uh, gametophyte is differentiated into uh, stem mm. like structure, leaves, and rhizoids. Okay. Leaves is very simple leaves. Only midrib is present, and so, the side. So, sir, like, can we say that uh, true leaves are present here? True, true leaves only. Oh, but true leaves only. But uh, the leaves are very simple structure is there. Yes. So this is the uh, stage where the true leaves are present. The first leaves. Hmm. Leaves only. Leaves present only. But the leaves are very simple structure. There is no petiole. And uh, the lamina is also very. uh single layer of the cells are there here in our like angiosperms like plants are the lamina is made up of the palisade spongy like uh, cells are present yes sir no? but yes. here uh, but here only the parenchyma cells are there very there is no differentiation means uh, uh compound leaves are not there and uh, leaf is totally made up of the parenchyma only very delicate uh, material parenchyma we know that one and the surface of the leaf not have the any cuticle in our angiosperms plant they have the thin very thick cuticle is present you know that one here there is no stomata in bryophyte no stomata are there we know that one. the th means leaf they have some stomata yes or no yes sir yes sir ah yeah so some stomata are present but here the bryophyte leaves not have any type of the stomata okay means uh, and uh, the only the exchange of the gases on the means only in the diffusion method and uh, other methods also there but uh, here uh the simple leaf is present this character of the some bryophyte general characters is compulsory coming in the your examination point point wise you can write down and reproductive organs also there sporophyte complete depending on the gametophyte like the point points so you can write that okay clear yes sir. okay, okay. Yeah. nice thank you and another type is the classification of the bryophytes so the campbell is classified the bryophytes into three classes based on the uh, the structure of the gametophyte and as well as sporophyte only campbell campbell is a scientist okay 
so sambel and uh, brown is also there and uh, some other have a and other members also there uh, these are the bryophytes then classified into uh, three classes are there based on the structure of the gametophyte and sporophyte okay as usual we know that one all the human beings and animals also plants also based on their structure only we can divide into different group we know that one yes or no yes sir based on the based on their structures structure. morphological uh, based on their morphological structures and anatomical structures only here there are the differentiate into three classes are there three classes are there what are there here hepatic apsida bryophytes there are the classified into three classes are there first one is the hepatic apsida anthoceratopsida and bryopsida hepatic apsida means hepatic and entendi what is the hepatic means hepatic content in hepatitis ante what is the hepatitis something to do with liver yeah very good so hepatitis is the type of disease which is caused to the or uh, damage to the liver only yes or no yes sir ha ah, so similarly hepatic apsida means hepatic hepatic means liver like structures are there okay na andi liver like structure the thallus is became a liver like structure see here already i shown to the picture also there are the a loops like structure is present see here this one is anybody seeing the uh, goat liver or <laughs> yes yeah ah so there are some lobes lobes like structure foliage like structures are there hepatic okay nandi lobes like structure foliage like structures are there so those are their thallus means um, the gametophyte uh, there appeared as a foliage like lobes like structures are there the hepatic liver like structures there are called as hepatic apsida so hepatic apsida members we call commonly liver wart mm-hmm. yeah liver wart there are commonly called as a liver wart those hepatic apsida members liver wart liver like structures are there so that's why the name is given their conditions okay nadi okay yes. ah. so hepatic apsida what is the characters of their hepatic apsida means all the characters already we discussed that one the thallus is differentiated into dorsi ventral differentiation is there already example dorsal side means lower side thallus lower side the thallus lower side they have some brown like rhizoids uh, where the rhizoids the, are present ah uh, the dorsal side they have the rhizoids and scales also some scales also present and uh, the dorsal side they are not have the any pigments okay not have on ventral pigments. side we will be having pigments right sir pigments is yes. they have the ventral side only okay the ventral side only they have the pigments chlorophyll and ah uh, chlorophylls also there the ventral side of the cells only they have the chlorophylls also there pigments also present the cells ventral side cells only they have the pigments so that's why the ventral side they are looking in the green color and the dorsal side there are looking the some brown like structures brown color differentiation is the dorsal side is the ventral side okay nadi 
So, and the centrally, the mid rib is present. The thallus is a leaf like appendages or foliage, thallus like structure is present on the uh, these uh, hepatic abscess members. Hepatic abscess members, as well, already they can grow on the moist areas where the moist is present. And all characters we are to incorporate the hepatic abscess. Apply to the hepatic capsule. Okay, clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So yes, all sir. the characters. Ah, yeah. So means uh, they can grow on the uh, means uh, moisture areas. There are the first uh, land plants uh, and migrate to the land plants and embryo is present. Uh, uh, Darcy ventral is present. Heterotrichus is present. Uh, and uh, all the characters, the organs also, the reproductive organs also, they, uh, they, they, all the organs are they are to incorporate. So, and uh, the thallus of the internal structure, that is the homogeneous, means homogeneous means all the cells are in the similar, similar in structure, homogeneous. Thallus, internal structure is homogeneous structure is there. Okay, and only the reproductive organs only they have some differentiation structure is there. Uh, these uh, the uh, reproductive organs uh, are born on the uh, the dorsal side, side. Okay, and uh, and the sporophyte. Uh, is the differentiated into sporophyte is the specific uh, character is there in the bryophytes. The sporophyte is differentiated into food, ceta, and capsule. Okay, hepatic capsida, uh, the sporophyte here differentiated into Sorry. So please uh, put a mute. All of you keep the mute. Uh, in the sporophyte, already we discussed that one. The sporophyte of the bryophytes completely depending on the gametophyte. Okay. That's so the, this sporophyte is differentiated to food, ceta, and capsule. What is the function of food here? See here, uh, I show to what is the sporophyte here? You can see the what is the function of food, theta, and capsule see here. See here, this one. See here. This one is a sporophyte. This one. See, uh, Unlike shaped structure is there, that is the sporophyte. Okay, clear. So, foot, uh, this one is the food. Food means food, what? What like food? Uh, like a rhizoid, sir, where it is uh, attaching to the substratum. No, no, here not in the, uh, not have the rhizoids in the sporophyte. Already told what? The sporophyte oh, okay. completely depending on the this gametophyte This could be the base. Uh, yeah, yes. This one is the this one is the base to attach to the sporophyte in the gametophyte. Which one a anchor like structure? Anchor means supporting, fixing. fixing yeah, supporting or fixing. supporting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sure. So uh, that one a foot is to fixed or embedded in the gametophyte. Okay, embedded in the gametophyte, the sporophyte to fix into the gametophyte. The flask like structure means already these archegonia. See here, these flask like structure of the archegonia after the fertilization, these archegonia to develop as a sporophyte. So, the base of the sporophyte we call as a foot. This one is the fund base. Attached to the 
gametocytes with the help of the these foot only and uh, another one is the seta seta is a connecting tissue between the foot and capsule foot and uh, seta these two are the sterile tissue sterile means they cannot uh, uh, produce gametes uh, yeah spores. yeah very good 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 nice so sir, not... can you please uh, share the screen once again sir foot seta capsule we cannot see the picture see here, see here. this one okay sir oh, but but okay is not uh, clear that much clear la... sir it's not that much ah. clear ah uh, yeah okay so in the below portion that is the foot okay a bulbous like structure is there below one so again the next class where i am telling to the bryophyte life cycle means uh, bry means uh, and uh, marcantia marcantia life cycle when i am telling to that one i clearly show to your uh, this uh, structure okay foot seta and cap okay, okay. sir ah okay. so foot and uh, seta these are the sterile tissue is there foot and seta sterile tissue and the capsule is the fertile one capsule is fertile one so in that capsule they have the sporogenous tissue so in that sporogenous tissue to produce the spore spore means they are involved in the uh, next generation the spores after the complete the development of the spores there are the liberated from the sporophyte and to germinate as the protonema already we discussed that one for germinate a filament like structure okay the okay. protonema the spore will develop uh, So, okay, the spore of uh, means uh, the spore germinate uh, to develop a filament like structure. That one we call as a protonema. Protonema is the initial stage of the gametophyte. Already we discussed that one. Clear? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. So, bryophytes there are divided into three classes. Are the bryophyte division? Our group is divided into three classes. Are there hepatic apsida, anthocyte apsida, and bryopsida? Okay, hepatic apsida is over. So next one is anthocyte apsida. So this one we call as a uh, hornworts. Generally, anthocyte apsida we call as a hornworts. What is horn? which like a spike like structure sir yeah very good spike like structures are there okay see here the picture is not there sorry uh. hmm. so see here this one is the liver wars rixia for example rixia marcantia all are the previous topic the all the huh, liver wards are there means nothing but hepatic apsida the rixia look like a liver like structure is there or not the thallus is yes, clear yeah yes, so sir. means foliage like structures are the leafy like structures foliage like structures are there that one we call as a liver wards and another term another the class is the horn wards so anthocyte apsida Commonly called as a hornworts. So hornworts means 
earn means some projections. Okay, and spikes like success. See here, some projections are appeared. Clear? Clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, uh, this one is the projections like success are there. That one we call as a uh, uh, call as a Hepat, uh, means anthoceratops, the horn while like horn like structure. Okay, and horn word. That's why we call it as a horn word. So, what are the characters of the anthoceratops? So, here also the gametophyte is also differentiated into uh, dorsi ventral side. Okay, dorsi ventral sides also present. And this one is also very simple thallus is present and foliage like structures are there. And uh, internal tissue of the thallus here also homogeneous, just like uh, um, hepatic capture. Homogeneous means all the cells are uh, similar, Sim similar in structure. Similar in structure. And uh, uh, that is the uh, dorsal side of the cells are have the uh, pigments also present. They are doing the photosynthesis, but the ventral side of the cells do not have the the chlorophylls. They are the bear the uh, are to produce the rhizides. And here the reproductive organs are embedded in the gametophyte. Hepatic capsid is also the uh, reproductive organ. There are embedded in the thallus only means embedded in the gametophyte means the dorsal side. There are the reproductive organs on the upper face. Upper face, they are embedded in the, the thallus. And the reproductive organs, here also say the anthridia is the male reproductive organ, male reproductive organ and archegonia is the female reproductive organ. So these both are the uh, embedded on the dorsal surface of the thallus are nothing but gametophyte. Okay, Excuse clear? me, sir. Can we say that they are hidden organs? Sorry? Can we ah, say that yeah, reproductive yeah, yeah, organs yeah. are hidden? Okay, and not hidden only, but some embedded. A loop like okay. structure, globular means uh, some uh, cavity is there. Inside okay. the talus, here a cavity is present. So inside that cavity, they have the uh, anthridial cavities like that. Anthridial cavities, they embedded. That are not total hidden, but uh, hmm? hidden is total completely covered. Yes, or no? Yes, sir. Uh, but not uh, completely covered. Uh, there are the embedded. That means here there are the some cavities like structures are there. Chambers. Cavities okay, are sir. chambers are there. Inside the cavity, Anthridias are appear, anthridias are developed inside the chamber. But okay. opening place is there, but oh, and uh, that cavity open is there, means so uh, mouth is present. Okay, okay sir. thank that you. That's we call it the opericulum. Opericulum is thank there, you, sir. opening place is also there, but not completely hidden, but some embedded in the or deep in the talus. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so here. The reproductive organs are embedded in the thallus, and the female one we call as the archegonium, male one we call as the antheridia. So, in this sporophyte, is some differentiated development than compared to hepat capsida. Anthoceratopsida sporophyte is the some portion is differentiated into hepat capsida. What is the differentiated here? Means the anthoceratopsida sporophyte continuously grow. Continuously grows. Why here continuously grows? Why are you calling here continuously grows? Means uh, the anthoceratopsida sporophyte, they have the intermeristematic tissues present in the sporophyte. Okay. Meristematic tissue is present in the sporophyte instead of the four or seta instead of the seta a meristematic zone is present intercalary meristematic zone or meristematic zone is present what is the function of the meristematic zone 
They show continuous growth, sir. Uh, continuous yeah, with the metastomatic cells undergo divisions. Yes, very good. Thank you, Andy. So here, what is the main function of the metastomatic tissue here? There are the continuously divide to produce the cells. There is no stop, no resting period. Continuously is divide to produce the cells. What are they maybe? Any cells? Means the reproductive cells are vegetative cells. Okay. So similarly here, uh, the intercalaries meristematic cell is present in the sporophyte of the anthoceratopsida. Example, anthoceras. So instead of the ceta, food is present. Here, that is the differentiation is then compared to hepatic apsida sporophyte. Okay, clear? The sporophyte of the Anthoceratopsida is differentiated into food and meristematic tissue and capsule. Here, CETA is not there. Okay, Nandi. Food is embedded or just like a anchor like structure to fix into the gametophyte. Okay, Nandi. Then, okay. after. Huh? Okay, Clear? Ah, yeah. Okay. So, food is a a base like structure embedded or anchor like fixing like structure these are the supporting uh, organ to fix into the gametophyte of the sporophyte and another part is the intercalary meristematic tissue is there so intercalary meristematic tissue to produce the number of cells to produce the uh, sporophyte so that's why the continuously grows and capsule is a long slender like capsule is there. So this one is the capsule. See here some projections. Flamin like structures are there. Are you able? Yes, See sir. Here. Yes, huh? sir. So that yes, one sir. is the sporophyte. Capsule. That one is the capsule. Okay. So okay, projection sir. like structures are there. Flamin like structures are there. That one is the sporophyte of the capsule. So, capsule is continuously grows. So, that's why a long projection like structures are there. See here, this is the sporophyte. Okay, that is the capsule. Okay, ah. so here, so inside the capsule, sporogenous tissue is present. So, the sporogenous tissue to produce the spore. Okay, then the formation of the sporogenous tissue to produce the spore, so some uh, elators also appeared in the anthoceras. Okay, pseudo elators we call as the elators or some uh, marcantia. They have the elator in the anthoceras. We call as the pseudo elators. Okay, now what is the main function of the elators? Means they have the hygroscopic nature is there. Hygroscopic nature is there. So that's why. The spores, when completely developed uh, inside the sporogenous sac, and uh, these hygroscopic nature, they have observed the moisture uh, their surrounding, and immediately split the that capsule wall. So that's why the spores will be spread into the some long distance. That is the main function of the elator. Means dispersal of the spore. Why they are dispersal means the elators, uh, they have the hygroscopic nature is there. Uh, so there are the spiral-like structures are there, spring-like spring -like structures. Okay, elators are the yeah, uh, spiral-like structures are there. They have the hygroscopic nature. When the mature of the spores, maturity of the spores, so the capsule wall will be breaks, uh, and uh, elate, uh, the spores will be spread into the uh, some long distance. Means there are main involved in this spore dispersal. But here the anthocera means uh, anthoceratopsida. Uh, there are these pseudo elators also there. Means here they not uh, involved in the spore dispersal. What happened here? This capsule is a long, long slender like structures are there. When the uh, air is passed through these plants, 
what happened here the slender like structure slowly moves the yes sarno this capsule slowly moves to the or uh, bending to the or distem to the uh, the capsule so that's why the spores easily to spread so that's why here pseudo pseudo elater we call as a pseudo elaters means they not have the hygroscopic nature clear yes sir okay thank you so next one is the next class is the bryopsida that uh, we call as a masses generally we call as a masses example polyeterate anthoceratopsida example anthoceras okay nandi you write some points okay. yes sir yeah so next uh, third class is the bryopsida generally we call as a masses so here the uh, bryopsida gametophyte uh, is well advanced than compared to remaining hepatopsida and anthoceratopsida well advanced is this the bryophytes uh, uh, bryophyta the gametophyte is differentiated into uh, shoot means stem is there and uh, leaves uh, and uh, roots also present okay so here the protonema is developed a erect stem is there and leaf they have some appendages or phyllites uh, are present okay very advanced uh, characters uh, appeared then compared to hepatopsida and anthoceratopsida okay next so here bryopsida uh, the uh, sporophyte is differentiated into food seta and capsule here inside the capsule sporogenous tissue is there that sporogenous tissue to produce the spore and some centrally uh, a sterile tissue is there that one we call as this columella columella is the a supporting uh, tissue central columella is the supporting tissue of the capsule that is one is also sterile only that one okay nandi clear andi yes sir okay thank you so hepatic apsida anthoceratopsida and bryopsida this is the classification of the bryophytes and uh, some uh, the groups also there that is the uh, orders we call as a, the spiro uh, spirocarpels and marcantiels jengermanials anthoceratels sphagnels these are the some groups so there are divided into 10 groups also there based on the character by the caves and uh, androidels uh, and uh, tetraphytes polytracheals boxomials and ubriales uh, these are 10 groups also there okay the next one is the distribution where the uh, grows uh, of the bryophytes so sir excuse me cheppad hmm, what sir who given this uh, three classes is uh, i mean uh, who given this classification campbell campbell okay campbell sir. campbell is already told so campbell is uh, divide this bryophyta into three classes campbell okay okay sir ha uh, campbell and distribution so already we discussed that one uh, where the moisture is present uh, and shade areas is very suitable to grow these bryophytes so means himalayan regions means like that kashmir and the east part of the india and burma is also and some burma area this one is the uh, very suitable to grow the uh, bryophytes means himalayan regions and heavy rainfall regions is also very suitable uh, of the bryophytes bryo okay okay hello excuse me sir hmm. the uh, green structures that uh, the velvety structure 
picture we find on walls during the rainy season yeah. are yes. they the moss yeah exactly very Thank good you, nice sub- nice observation that one we call as a mosses means bryopsida bryopsida on the yes. old walls we can see on the rainy season in villages and some cities also the old walls they grows a peat like structures on the surface of the that walls the green in peat like structures are there when we are to uh, pick up that one a small uh, peat like structure is appeared on the old walls in, it will the, feel velvety to touch ah yes the patch like structures is easily to remove you can see that old walls mainly in villages nowadays in our uh, means uh, in city people uh, means constructed in cement only but uh, in old uh, means in village people uh, the walls will constructed on the mud only uh, of course okay in the uh clay that village people the walls will uh, uh, constructed with the clay only so in rainy season what happen here on the clay uh, is very suitable to grow the bryophytes the habitat is very suitable that one we call as a bryophyte means uh, mosses or bryopsida example polyt recommend finaria that is Yes, I have a mesh. Okay. So, and uh, some Nilagiri hills in Tamil Nadu. Okay. And, uh, these please mm-hmm. mute. And uh, another, uh, then Hindu, uh, Ganga plains is also there. That is very suitable, that one. And uh, Nilagiri hills, uh, huh? uh, that one. Okay, na? So, where the distribution of the bride is? means uh, the markantia here uh, around the consist of 65 species are there uh, and please keep, please keep that one please keep okay please keep the mute nazia please mute so Uh, here mainly the markantia polymorpha is the mostly widely distributed uh, member of the hepat capture okay and uh, another some species also there pelia pelia is the some three species are there that is the pelia epiphylla and uh, adventilifolia and uh, nesinia Nisinia, sir, uh, could you please Nisinia. repeat that again, sir? So, epiphylla, pelia epiphylla, and uh, pelia uh, individi, individia to uh, to folia, individia to folia. Another one is the uh, nisaina, n w e s a y n a y nisaina. These uh, three. species are widely distributed uh, on the temperate zone of the north uh, plain to and some also there uh, that is the in sikkim area and eastern himalayas also okay and uh, anthocyras here about 20 species are there this one is the cosmopolitan species anthocyras is the cosmopolitan species means there are uh, develop uh, anywhere temperate and tropical region throughout the world as well as india okay. so another one is the sphagnum sphagnum is also yes huh? sphagnum is also cosmopolitan species which is grows on the north and south to temperate zone and subarctic uh, antarctic region is also okay sphagnum is uh, very economically very valuable sphagnum okay so next uh, coming to the economic importance of the bryophyte is clear here classification and distribution of the bryophytes yes sir yes. okay. thank you so what is the economic importance of the 
bryophytes so we know that one these uh, bryophytes is economically very important so used in the fuel and some horticulture uh, applications and uh, household uses and some constructions and some industry also some bryophytes to there are have the some medicinal properties so that's why used in the pharmacy uh, industry pharmaceutical industry to making the medicines and uh, some mass industry also so mainly here uh the mosses means uh, the mosses to provide the food for the herbivores birds and other animals so here uh, this here Mm. so some mm, bryophytes they are give the uh, so energy peat and uh, some gases also and uh, reclamation of the soil also these are the some importance uh, of the bryophytes yes soil uh, horticulture uh, means uh, some gardening development and landscaping development we can use it here and another one here means some different of the medicines prepared by the this master okay and let's see here I'm sorry so food and shelter also um mosses to give the food and shelter also uh, here the peat has uh, long been used as a fuel so these uh, dried uh, specimens so for example sphagnum uh, in use to absorb the surgical dressings and packing material to increase the water uh, retaining uh, uh, property of the certain poor types of the soil you know that one some soils are not have to store the water so in that areas the sphagnum is cultivated and to absorb the Soil, uh, absorb the water in that soil. So that's why the sphagnum is economically more valuable uh, piece. Some garden, uh, gardening. These uh, bryophytes uh, used in the gardening is also so flower packing, uh, moist and peat uh, like mosses. They are used and. Uh, and another important the bryophytes to used as a air pollutant indicator okay so air pollutant indicators uh, is often used uh, where the pollution is occur for example sulfur and sulfur phosphorus uh, is high content in that one sulfur mainly the sulfur so the bryophytes cannot grow in that soil okay and uh, this one uh, so bio indicators nothing but bio indicators uh, and the ecological um, another one is the ecologically the mosses are considerable to improve the uh, soil formation in the soil production and soil conservation means here 
that are used in the soy formation bryophyte yeah. especially especially yes, in sir. the mass, masses especially when you are planting the pots and all you mix peat with the soil yes 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 so and another one here uh, important uh, in the lichens and the dry rocks where the growth on the higher plants is Impossible. So that's why right. the basic uh, these uh, mosses is grows on these uh, dry rock. So I means soil formation is uh, another uh, application. And increase the uh, humus means uh, simultaneously to increase the soil fertility. Okay, mosses are sphagnum. These are the Uh, dried and to cultivated along with the sphagnum or mosses, so that's why uh, the fertility will increase in that particular soil. And to neutralize the soils, so for example, some soils are alkaline soils are there, okay. Uh, and uh, that alkaline soils are to neutralize the uh, soil. And uh, some soils are. some mosses means so uh, soil erosion to stop the soil erosion also okay soil erosion used in the stop the soil erosion also okay see here uh soil conservation and soil erosion we already discussed that one uh, so what happen here the rhizites are to absorb the large quantity of water Uh, so that's why to stop the soil erosion is okay clear yes sir yes sir so, yes sir ah uh, thank you so general characters classification and uh, economic importance of bryophyte classification is compulsory question in your uh, exam point of view okay brown class uh, these yes, sample and brown class fed the Bryophytes into three classes means bryop, uh, hepatic apta, anthocyte apta, and bryopsida. Okay, clear? Yes, okay, sir. Okay. So, thank you, thank you for attending the class. Is any doubt? No more. Thank doubt? you so much, sir. Clear? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. and uh, these bryophytes uh, commonly called as a first uh, embryogenic plants and amphibian plants okay amphibian plants and embryogenic plants another is the dorsal ventral uh, distinction is there and uh, heterogeneous plants gametophytic plant band gametophytic plants only okay Clear? Clear? Yes. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for attending the class. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. sir. बैठ के तो किसके लम्बे समझे हाँ ये नू मस्तों चल